Hello everyone and welcome. In this film short, we're going to be talking about stormwater drains. This is a priority need with the state of Washington on the health of Puget Sound. As you saw there on the screen, bubbles coming up out of the substrate in close to shore. And I'm looking at the life, the sea life, the barnacles. They tell you a lot about the algae and the different water quality if you really can study them now they look black to me looking closer to the sea floor in here i don't see a lot of life however there is a crab right off to the right of me fairly large oh i would say six inches maybe from one uh, arm to the other but the barnacles are more of my concern and the green grass that's trapped on them the algae and as I look at these mussels now we like those those are all in a ooh, they're really good if they're cooked up right but there's these white worms as you can see on the top of them growing inside what's that all about and they seem to be okay but I see a lot of those white worms I'm gonna call them that I'm not sure what they are in the mussels along the shoreline of our south Puget Sound. I'm not sure what that star-like thing either is. Uh, some type, it looks like a spider or uh, maybe an alien of some type. <laughs> I can't really tell you. But if we take a look now at the what is that exactly? I'm trying to get a feel for it there. Um, interesting. You can't see it really yet, but it is going to come into the picture. Some type of urchin, a crab, a clam, it'll start moving. You see it there? You see his tentacle starting to move? There he is moving. Huh? Is that something or what? And it was hidden. You couldn't see it, could you? And I had to really study hard to make sure that what I was seeing was... Are there rocks moving on their own or what? But look how camouflaged it is. <laughs> is that amazing or what? Let's see. I can probably give you an estimate of its size. Now, I'm not quite sure what it is. What, what kind of critter would that be? It's pretty neat, though. He's got a couple of big eyes, big long feelers. I w it wouldn't be a shrimp. It's probably a part of the shrimp family of some type, though. They're crab family. Wouldn't be a lobster. Lobsters aren't in here. It lives in that big shell that it carries on its rear end. <laughs> How'd you like to have that for a load? A diaper. That's what it looks like, a big diaper. But uh, now I can see his feelers there. Wait, let's see if we can move. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got the camera moved. You know, right now, you don't realize the current on this outgoing tide is doing about six miles an hour. And for me to hold the camera drone straight and to hold in this current is hard to do. So bear with me. It will shake a little bit. But I'm looking to get the shot. And it seems like he's eating with a center arm. Doesn't it to you? Right there, that center arm, see it moving? Between his legs or claws or whatever. Now we move that urchin over a little bit. Well, let's watch for a moment here. If you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to TM Key Film. And if you'd like to learn more about Puget Sound, I want you to swing over to Doc C's, S-E-E-S, under Puget Sound. Both of the YouTube channels are fun for everyone to enjoy learning about. Hey, what's that bottom look like on Puget Sound? And if you're a homeowner and you want to know what's in front of your house, lake, stream, whatever, give us a call. The TFR team maybe can help you out there. Thanks for watching, everybody, and continued good luck out on the waters, you fishermen. Bye-bye.